Well, Ben, that was just in time, I think, to show up on the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our channel, or welcome back to our channel. If you're new. We are hanging out. Not doing a lot of anything except making potato salad. Oh, someone's looking over at you. You better pan over to where he shows up. What? Huh? Oh, good heaven. A wolf jumped in front of that wonderful, but droid was saying hello. His droid said hello. Wolf says hello, too. Wolf does not say hello. Wolf says, turn that stupid thing off. Yeah. That's what Wolf says. Mwah. I give them a sugar booger. That's my dog. He's a wolf boy. Don't laugh, he's my favorite person. He does not like the droid, either. No, he runs from it when it makes noises. He's my favorite person in the whole world. Remember, Mom? Because he's the sweetest. Hand hand. Yeah. Because he's fun. the sweetest baby in the world. Yeah. Everybody knows it. He's full of potatoes. Um, <laughs> we were. Mom did most of it, but we were peeling and cutting up potatoes to make potato salad like I said and this dog I know it's bad for their tummies I know shut up but this dog loves a raw potato <laughs> loves a raw potato and um, he ate a few for mom and then I was cutting him up and he come over here to me and he said give me a potato this minute <laughs> So I gave him some potato, and I gave him some more. I don't even know how much potato I gave him. But probably at least a half a potato. Yeah. Maybe more. He's a if it was half of a potato, it was a great big potato. <coughs> and so he's awful of raw taters. Yep. I can't say nothing. I went to wash the potatoes and put them on to boil. What did I do? Stood there and ate a handful of raw potatoes. We're just rednecks at heart. We're just hillbillies. Yeah. Well, hillbillies. Yeah. Wolfie says, Wolfie says he's a sophisticated hound. But Wolfie lies. He's not, he's a little redneck hound. Yeah. You're a little redneck hound. You see this dog panting? That's in this trailer we have three air conditioners going right now one at each end and the one here in the middle in this room <coughs> and i have two fans going in my room ben has his fan on oh ben make sure the exhaust fan Ooh. for the bathroom is on get down <laughs> he won't get down he wouldn't get down oh my goodness i pushed too and he said no i ain't doing it no it's okay I got him down for you. Shit poop. Oh, Chris, come take care of it. He needs a treat. Do you want the exhaust fan on? Turn the exhaust fan on in the bathroom. In Gary's bathroom? Yeah, yeah, anyway, what I was saying is, all these fans and all these air conditioners go on full blast. And it's still hot enough in here that the dog's panting. And yeah. we're not that far behind. So what did I do? I put a great big pot on to boil. <laughs> it is on, actually. Because I'm just not that bright, am I, Ma? Go with the can, right? Apparently not. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> but I do love me some potato salad. <laughs> yeah, right? Yep. Pretty good. Well, he has to get his squalled up. Not cooked because he doesn't like potato salad. He likes cooked potatoes, but he doesn't like potato salad. I don't think he, I know he doesn't like mustard. And I don't think he likes Miracle Whip. Probably not. And he doesn't really like onion. And he doesn't like celery. And I don't know how he feels about pickle relish, but at that point, does it matter? Yeah, he, yeah, he doesn't like it because I've used the, the gel on my sandwiches and he's sure that Mm -hmm. like he's not a pickle pup although I call him that sometimes he's a good boy. what is it you say he's got as many names as a much loved child as a much loved child yes he does yeah. mommy calls him a pickle all the time 
I just started calling him that. He's not the first dog I ever called Pickle, I would like to point out. But, with him, it's stuck. Yeah. There's just something about him. He's my little Pickle. <laughs> you will probably think his name is Pickle from now on. I'm telling you. He's all lumpy and bumpy like a Pickle. Yeah. My dog is the lumpiest dog. <laughs> he is, and I'm always finding a new lump to worry about. Worry about. Yay. <laughs> they go away. Yeah, they usually go right away, you know. One time I took him to have one tested because it was on his knee and we were worried and all oh, the blood went everywhere. Oh, yeah. Lord, it was awful and he, oh. However bad you think it was, it was worse. It was awful. I said, I'm never doing well, this he's again. He's just a baby when something like that happens. He doesn't get me. Mm -hmm. He gets scared. He was scared. He peed. He, tr he ran back and tried to crawl under the vet's table. They had to drag him out. Poor baby. I'm sitting over there ready yeah. to cry. I thought, I won't cry. But I won't. I really won't. But it was close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then she came home and cried. <laughs> I'll have you know I crawled, I cried all the way home. <laughs> he worried me. Yep. And what was it? It's that he's Weimaraner. Mm -hmm. That's something that Weimaraners yeah, do. Love. They get fluid filled, yeah. uh, especially on their joints. Mm -hmm. The joint fluid just will leak out and it's self-sealing or something because after a while it stops leaking and then it gets absorbed into the body and it moves on to a different lump somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But it's flipping nerve-wracking if you love your dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep thinking, of bit, uh, thinking of Bitsy and that tumor she had. Oh, good boy, that was awful. Mm. And that was a real thing. Yeah, she had a real tumor on her face and it was it was like. Like this. Out. What? It was too big. Took up too much. Yeah. But it didn't hurt her, and it didn't stop her from eating or she seeing. Or... Yeah, she went blind briefly. That little dog, she bounced back from anything. You could have thrown her down a garbage disposal, and she'd have bounced back. She, she was a a fighter. And tumble. She was a fighter. She was something else. Ugly little dog. Just on the inside, outside. Just on the outside. I don't know. Wolf says, let's discuss it. Yeah. Well, he knew what to do when she had a leash on. He, she was always whipping up on him. He'd come up there, you know, I'd be upstairs in my bedroom, and he'd come up there to see what I was doing, and she'd be asleep. And, buddy, he'd tiptoe up into the bed to not wake her up because she would tell him off. Mm -hmm. She'd come up there all teeth, you know, mm -hmm. at 90 miles an hour, looked like the Tasmanian devil in the old cartoons, you know, and scared the hell out of him because he's a coward at heart. I love that dog. I love that oh, dog, but that dog's chicken. chicken. Mm -hmm. That dog is Poor chicken. Baby. He's just scaring him. And you feel so bad. I know, and I scare him at least once a week. At least once a week. No, I mean bad. Oh. I startle him all the time. Yeah, okay. Every day. But I, I do something that makes me feel really, really bad <laughs> at least once a week. <laughs> like like to the point where he'll go and his legs will go in all different oh, directions yeah. and he'll fall. That kind of. Yeah. Oh. That hurts. It hurts me to see it. Am I steaming? Just starting to steam. Well, he says it's going to get harder. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> we need a vacuum. I don't know. I like not having carpet. I do, too. But, but we'll get him some tennis shoes. <laughs> yeah, I can see him yeah. walking in his tennis shoes. That would be funny. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> no, yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> For the 30 seconds it lasted, it would be hilarious. Oh, not so. I was watching this video 
last night about Christmas traditions that used to be every everybody did it mm -hmm. and now nobody does it anymore mm -hmm. and like one of them was like sending greeting cards sending Christmas cards and yeah. displaying them when you got them and yeah. I get two Christmas cards a year and I love them both mm -hmm. so but they're from the same people every year and it means something mm -hmm. and I send one back to Rick I always send him a card mm -hmm. You'd think I'd send Shannon one, too. I don't know why I don't do that. Anyway, not well, the point. she's got a family, and she's more rude. Yeah, she's got three sisters, or two sisters, and her one sister has three kids, and her mom and is still alive, and her grandma's still alive. and her yeah, she's still alive. Mm-hmm. That's her heart. But anyway, so one of them was sending Christmas cards got off topic the other one was like going caroling and one was making fruit cake mom used to do that when I was little and just things like just things like that and it got me to thinking about things that it, that get me and I was thinking, you know, it's not Christmas until you see that Hershey's Kiss advertisement where they're, yeah, yep, where they're little bells. Or do you remember the old Noralco commercials where Santa Claus would come down the snowy hill on an electric razor? I remember those too. It's funny you remember the commercials. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what show I was probably watching. Probably a Charlie Brown Christmas or a Winnie the Pooh Christmas <laughs> or something. Rankin and Bass. See, they had a lot of good Christmas. No, they didn't. They, they had enjoyable Christmas cartoons when I was a child. But a couple, three years ago, I took a notion to watch them all again. They're terrible. They're awful. I don't get it. I don't know what we loved about them. But it was always such a big deal to mark it in the TV guide and everything that your cartoon was going to be on on Thursday night at 8 o'clock. And you knew if you didn't get there in time to watch it at 8, you couldn't watch it on reruns like you do now. You know, it was on that one time for the whole year. And that was it. There's no streaming, no DVDs, nothing. And it was a big deal. And two, the other thing was you knew that it was family hour from 8 to 9. So that's when they always showed them. They didn't show them at 7. They definitely didn't show them after 9. It was from 8 to 9. TV used to be a lot different than it is now. <coughs> I think he is good to your buddy over there. He doesn't think so. Poor buddy, or He doesn't really think so. He He's a whole boy. We So here I am sitting here doing something on my computer. And my phone is in my purse, and I can't get to it because I'm doing something on my computer, and it's in my lap, and there's no safe place to put it. it it's just there. So I holler for Ben because I heard my phone start ringing, and I knew who it was. It was the insurance company that I've been trying to work with, Melina, calling me back. Of course, by the time, and I'm not blaming him. But by the time he got in here and was able to look at it, they'd left a message. I was so irritated, though. Why didn't I have that sitting out? I knew they were going to call. I mean, I might not have known, known, but I knew they were. You just knew they were going to call. Mm-hmm. And the very minute it got to where I uh, <laughs> couldn't reach it, this when they called, I should have known. 
Okay, Chris. Yeah. Work. So work was done different today. They, uh, you know how I told mom that they were changing directors around, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to What call. happened with work happened with the shifting around. Basically, they're shifting around the directors because a bunch of staff and uh, directors got new schedules for buses being changed around again. And a bunch of them was like, never mind, I'm out. And a couple of these were directors, so every site and all our friends is understaffed and um, my boss has to help where my old director went drive routes. So our new hours of work are when he gets there at 10.30 something to 2.05. That way he's done driving around and he comes over to where he's working for the day. It's all sites he works This is really going to cut your hours, isn't it? And um, our end time is 2.05 instead of 2.29. So it doesn't cut our hours by much, but what, and he's going to try to work it to where we get paid the same like we used to, but Ryan has the final say. Okay, well, with any luck. It won't affect my pay too much. Yeah. It'll probably, if it does affect something, if he has the final say, it'll probably be one hour or Yeah, they're okay. They're steaming. They're steaming merrily along. I've got a timer in the top of my video. Um, so, uh, makes it easier to time my That's videos. the new change we have to go to the because everyone their grandmother quit. Basically. What did they do that made everybody quit this time? Change the buses around. They had to redo the buses where the bigger wheelchair buses went to the bigger routes and, uh, Smaller wheelchair buses, not smaller routes, and uh, should have been that way in the first place. Yeah, it wasn't because everyone was split across two different routes in one same part of town. They are not doing that anymore. That's a cause of mass exodus of people. Is it also changed around who was driving them routes? And uh, yeah, what they need to do is hire designated drivers. Not re not not rely on the staff that should be there to meet the people when they arrive. Yeah, I know it would cost a lot, but I'm pretty sure they make good money. Pretty sure they get paid. Oh, anyway. So yeah, that's the spiel of what's going on in here. He's starting to get better. He hasn't been coughing at all. Yeah, I've never he took a cough out. I don't know why. So I can't even start getting that. I don't know. But I know for years so I went through the cough thing. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he's doing. So I don't know if he's going to go off. Maybe a cold start system. Minnie, do you have anything you need to add to the video? I can't think of anything, honestly. What about you, Chris? No. Wolfie says, ain't you done yet? <laughs> That's what Wolfie says. That's what he says, all right. I hope it's cooler where you are. And listen, in this weather, remember, stay hydrated. Watch out for your neighbors. Don't be in the sun too much. Just... Take care of yourself. It's don't real easy. Yeah, and don't leave your dog tied out in the sun. That's a bitch move. Really. It's cruel. Yeah. I think a lot of people ought to be horse whipped over the way they treat their dogs. Yeah. But anyway, don't do it. And then we'll love you. So, okay, come see us on Wednesday. Stay cool, and we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.